Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and these are the guides for Long War of the Chosen. Before we start, as always, the shameless self plug off. Um, you might enjoy the channel and therefore me asking you to please subscribe and leave a comment down below. Today our topic is going to be the Assault class. I mentioned that we're going to go through all of the classes in details. Assault is the first of them. Assault class is um, uh, the counterpart to its name of the classical vanilla um, game, just um, a shotgun uh, type of uh, character, um, but all of the sword-like abilities were taken away and were handed over to the shinobi instead. So in uh, um, a Long War, you will see that uh, in all of my guides, the first uh, three um, uh, rows here are basically the skills in the different uh, in the different um, experience ranks, and it's a forced selection system. So that means you can only pick one out of the three, and the tactical uh, facility doesn't offer you the ability to pick a second one. Now the three different tracks of uh, the um, uh, assault are number one, the raider as it's called uh, here, uh, which is basically a character that focuses more and more on uh, the shotgun uh, with various shots. And there is a middle track uh, that doesn't really have a name, but I would probably um, uh, call it Shocker or Shock Trooper, because it uses uh, the newly uh, found equipment uh, for the soldier class, which is the, hand, uh, uh, the always available uh, secondary weapon, an arc thrower and uh, gives uh, additional abilities to that. Essentially, the arc thrower allows you to stun enemies. Uh, the third one is the breacher tree, uh, which is a lot of defensive um, uh, uh, capabilities that the character class gets. Uh, the XCOM additional features here are basically advanced features that the class can, uh, can get. I will not review them because they might look completely different for you. Now, first thing, and I'm going to point that out and probably each and every single um, video of the class guides, there is no such thing as an optimal um, skill uh, route. Um, you could pick either combination of the skills and still be successful in the game. However, some of the skills are definitely more powerful and some of the builds uh, play themselves more straightforward, I would say. We're going through my uh, favorite build and I'll afterwards uh, give you a bit of an insight of what else is possible. Um, for the Assault class, the uh, uh, the build tree of the Breacher, in my perspective, is the way to go. The uh, Breacher um, uh, the breacher tr uh, traits give the Assault class much needed survivability um, and the Assault class's Offensive powers are already strong enough as they are. Uh, they will even become more uh, strong with one um, particular skill, rapid fire, um, and that's really all you need. So uh, let's go through the different tiers uh, one by one, and I'll explain why I've uh, taken the path of the Breacher. For other classes, it might not look as straightforward, but the Assault is really relatively straightforward. So first um, tier, Slugshot, allows you to uh, basically shoot your shotgun on a longer distance, has a two-turn um, cooldown, takes more ammunition, gets basically rid of uh, the range penalty, okay, um, if you want to go into the radar uh, route. Um, electroshock allows you to disorient uh, targets when it misses, only relevant if you're really using your arc thrower more and more. Then, however, it is absolutely fantastic because it's 100% disorientation or stun if you hit. So uh, this is uh, pretty uh, pretty much a decision that you need to do right away if you want to go uh, down that road. Lightning reflexes, definitely the go-to in this um, area. Um, first um, uh, reflex uh, or first reaction fire against you will miss. Every single additional one will have a significantly decreased chance to hit you. Uh, this class essentially triggers all of the reflex um, shots or all of the overboard shots from the enemy and that's really what it is uh, used for. That's why I think highly about uh, the lightning reflexes. Second uh, um, uh, tier in Corporal Trench Gun is um, a straightforward cone uh, shot that you can take uh, with higher 
uh, web and tears it gets even a little bit more prolonged it's uh, a pretty damn good ability if you uh, if uh, if you can use it however I found out that due to um, placement of the enemies more often than not you will only hit two maybe three enemies cover still applies so you either are left um, out in the open with a really nice trend shot or you find yourself just hitting a few. Uh, that's my biggest concern about it. It's generally okay. Arc Pulse allows you uh, to incapacitate mechanical um, targets. Again, just skill that if you're really wanting to use uh, the uh, the um, Arc Thrower more often. If you do, however, it's going to be a very, very strong support uh, character that you can use more in the midfield instead of just charging in with the, um, uh, with the shotgun. I personally like to get close and personal uh, because it almost uh, maxes out your crit chance uh, which in return pays dividends as your inbuilt uh, run and gun feature will allow you to uh, deal a lot of damage right off the bat. Sergeant rank, uh, killer instinct, uh, mm, uh, the additional critical chance is really not needed if you already have close and personal. I suppose the way that they were looking at it is if you get trend shot and slug shot then this is uh, the alternative. So either of these skills for, um, for the crit chance are fine. Um, since I think the close and personal is better than the trench gun shot, I'm going that uh, down that route. However, if you uh, want to go more into a raider route, uh, then I would definitely tell you to go for killer instinct as well. Uh, Stun Gunner um, gives your arc throw a bonus to hit, which is a flat bonus that is pretty nice. Uh, however, it's probably the weakest of the three abilities. Fortify, on the other hand, is incredibly good and uh, versatile. It's a free action, takes a five round cooldown, gives you 20 defense, which is as much as uh, low cover, can be used on top of standing in high cover and just offers you an incredible amount of protection uh, just when you need it. So I absolutely love Fortify, it's a great skill. Uh, next up, Staff Sergeant, uh, Run Gun uh, can be reduced by one turn. A uh, pretty good ability, um, so I wouldn't uh, rule that out specifically if you have it uh, combined with Killer Instincts. It makes sense to uh, put the two together. Um, aggression, on the other hand, gives you yet another uh, chance for... Um, uh, critical uh, chance improvement. It's the third one in a row. Sometimes um, I've seen uh, guides um, uh, to the class basically taking close and personal and aggression to always get to 100%. I uh, much rather try to flank and then with close and personal and the right ammunition you're already at 100%. So this here is not necessarily needed. Formidable on the other hand is absolutely fantastic in my perspective. Two bonus ablative hit points uh, mean that you will uh, almost uh, never, if you play your cards right, almost never take hit point damage with the first uh, shot. And 50% less of explosive attacks helps a bunch as well. So it's just an incredibly strong ability for every single class, uh, specifically for those who are up, uh, up and uh, personal um, in the face of the enemy. Um, now to the uh, Tech Sergeant's rank, hit and run. Um, allows you to take an additional action once you uh, hit someone without cover. Great, I like it. Um, unfortunately, it is overshadowed by rapid fire, which currently has no cooldown, so you can rapid fire every single round. It's just, it is incredibly good. It's probably the single most uh, powerful ability on all of them. I'm pretty sure it will get fixed in the future, but even with a higher cooldown, I would still argue that that's the better ability. So. Uh, there is no question in the uh, tech sergeant rank uh, to go for either of the others. Uh, close encounters, um, you can get uh, an extra standard shot uh, as a bonus action within four tiles. Both of these here have conditions. This always works. And the um, aim penalty of 15 is neglectable if you stand right next to the enemy. Definitely go for rapid fire. Gunnery Sergeant, uh, bring it on, uh, gives you an additional uh, plus one damage on critical hits, which is pretty damn good. Uh, so you uh, can deal massive amounts of damage with that. Um, and I uh, I would probably rate this um, almost like A tier if there wouldn't be an S tier uh, ability in my perspective in the same uh, track. Uh, Close Combat Specialist uh, gives you a free action shot, which is almost like a bit of an extended... Um, uh, blade storm just with uh, the uh, shotgun also okay uh, i would call it probably 
B tier, uh, definitely worse than Bring It On. But then there is Untouchable, and if you are not familiar with how good Untouchable is, just watch some of the runs. Um, making yourself immune to one um, uh, counterattack from the enemies, that includes uh, any form of explosives and so on and so forth, is just it is that good. It is S tier all the way. Uh, you can make an argument that you want to kill the enemy faster, but the shotgun itself with uh, rapid fire already deals so much damage that uh, having the untouchable and in his case even implaceable on top of it uh, is, is an incredibly versatile, super, super hard to kill and to even damage type of um, uh, character. Put Fortify in the mix and Formidable on top of it. Uh, you you would see why uh, Renman has almost never taken any damage. And that's really the beauty that these uh, skills here just cumulatively synergize so well. Master Sergeant, last but not least, uh, you can either have a cone-based shotgun attack uh, with uh, bonus targets uh, that is only um, uh, blocked by a heavy cover. It's kind of the extended version of Trend Shot, and it's really good. I uh, would say um, it is. it has a longer range. It uh, can deal a lot of damage, uh, so this one here is worth looking into. That being said, the big uh, disadvantage is still being blocked by heavy cover, uh, which oftentimes is the downfall here. Chain Lightning um, allows um, to hit multiple targets with your stun gun. And you can see how this class design actually nicely shows uh, that it's relatively straightforward. Um, uh, seldomly you need to jump into a different segment, you can almost stick with the kind of core um, uh, skill and still be fine. Having an AOE um, electroshock with your arc thrower uh, disorienting everyone or even stunning them is a pretty strong attack. Level, um, on the other hand, uh, is a flat out bonus of two uh, points with your primary weapon. Mind you, that will be multiplied on crits. So this here is absolute fantastic if you want to deal a lot of uh, damage with your gun. Since I've skipped um, the bring it on uh, for the S tier untouchable, I've taken level. You can take both, but like I said, that's probably a bit overkill. Um, again, this here is more compensation for the uh, lack of not taking uh, this here. Now, uh, let's finish up the guide. This here is, is my um, uh, favorite way of playing them. On this particular run, I even had other ways of how I would want to skill uh, the assaults, so lower level assaults, with alternative skills. One of the things in particular that I would uh, urge you to, to take a look at is the Electro uh, Shock build, which can be quite helpful as a support build. You don't want to end up with too many supportive characters, but um, if you find yourself in love with the Assault class in general, you have a couple of uh, soldiers that might not fit completely into uh, high movement, lot of hit points uh, uh, type of category, and you do have someone who has a mediocre movement maybe, and some so-and-so hit points, uh, you can use Electroshock uh, really, uh, or the, the route of the Shocker, uh, really to stay more in the backfield, uh, giving you the alternative to not, even if you're not hitting, to still contribute and with the Chain Lightning ability to be quite helpful in in a sense that you're, uh, that, that you're basically crowd controlling the enemies. Um, one um, word of advice there, uh, I would probably, if I were to go into that, I would probably uh, use all of uh, the um, electro shock abilities, so those four here, uh, plus the rapid uh, fire, and I would probably use formidable and untouchable as the other two abilities uh, to kind of round up uh, the build and give it a bit more survivability. That's it from the guide regarding assaults. I hope it uh, uh, provided enough value for you, and we're going to look at the other classes next. See you. Bye-bye.